Hello folks, welcome to another Scientific Weekly. Today we are going to talk about the, the Iridium-2 mission from SpaceX. So the Iridium-2 mission is a mission to get communication satellites into orbit. Communication satellites used by cars, satellite phones, uh, ships, chips and whatever. It's a very big thing. So the total mission is 75 75 I thought satellites low orbit satellites so I they are not that high and slowly fall back to earth but that takes a very long time anyway we are going to overview the uh, whole thing quickly so the sources will be available down below in the description as always if you notice that I'm a bit more white and bright than usual it's because I have a video light on top of my webcam this time because the light in my room is actually not that bright <laughs> so let's get started shall we i wrote down some times in my notebook so i'm sure that what to what to show quickly and what i can talk about and this flight has something amazing so communicate satellites and around 9.15 I wrote down the launch of the satellite is going to happen I w would like to tell you guys the sound of the video is turned off because they have their own voiceover and you hear people applauding in the background although it seems like a nice accomplishment for me it also sounds really weird when I'm telling you guys something so Lift off. This is a, an amazing thing to see if you ask me. I know NASA do, does this or used to do this, but those things that never have hit the internet, never been in life, I never saw them. So here it is. I'm amazed every time. Wait a few seconds early, I see. Almost there. Zero lift off. It's actually amazing how much smoke comes up, smoke from both the air that condensates, but also from the gas that the rocket propels. And right here in the bottom, you can see a very tiny bright dot. That's the, our rocket. And now we skip ahead once again to the 23 minute 30 seconds it should be roughly here for on the left side we see fins well what's so special about these fins well like I said we have something new this flight and this is one of those new elements those fins are cut of a single piece of titanium unlike before before they had been made of aluminium and those fins are used to steer the aircraft both in space and when it's going back to the ground for landing it's amazing you can see the fins right here these are the old ones and these are the new ones uh, on instagram from both elon musk and spacex there are also pictures of it let's see from elon musk good look at the fins he says they are made of a single cut cast cut piece titanium we refused it was a aluminum but titanium reaches a much higher temperature with re-entry so they those are not painted because they would need to repaint them every time and those don't those don't so no need to rework them no need to paint them they always look good and man they are huge if you wonder how big one of those aircrafts is well let's see did we have a person next to it i saw a shot recently where the there was a human next to it one of those aircrafts right another landing it's not muted sadly but this looks like a tiny thing well the f for a matter of fact one of those legs on the bottom is already the size of a for an adult I really saw it on 
Uh, this is a shame. I can't find it anymore. Oh well. Anyway, this is the base aircraft that returns, and let's go to the landing then, shall we? That is at. This is an ocean landing, which is a nice thing to say because that means the craft on the ocean and the and the spacecraft itself have to communicate together and find the perfect position. There's only a four small four minute difference between those things. So the first stage that just propels the second stage into space then falls back is not that gone for a really long time. And in, anyway, left side re-entry of the first stage. You see the fins doing their work, they tilt both si the sides that they need to, Com completely computer controlled, there's the barge, it's landing, almost right on target, and it's, if you ask me, a perfect landing, very perfect. Not sure how much fuel there is left in the spacecraft, it might have used all of it, there might be some left, but it's jo gorgeous to see this, unbelievable. NASA was in space for a long time. They never did this. SpaceX comes in. We are going to do this. And BAM! They do it. Incredible. This is not the first time they did it. I know. But still. You probably get my point. It's amazing. And that actually is, if you ask me, the most highlight of the stream. The fins that are new work properly. The aircraft, the spacecraft that lands back properly. I still want to call it an aircraft for some reason. And it ends, it actually ends with a short stream of the satellite being deployed. Right, stage two is still go getting into orbit. And it begun, begun at this stage it's being deployed and the satellite is starting up, finding its position and this is a picture of the satellite that's fully functional so to say it's still calibrating with the data center on earth probably but in general it's everything so the second stage still has some fuel in it for in the satellite well the satellite still has some fuel but that's for another thing. And those white dots, space debris, I'm actually amazed we can see the view of a satellite. We can see the satellite wide in space from Earth while we watch a live stream over the internet. How many years ago was it again that NASA sent first satellite into space? <laughs> um, 2017 right now, so 40 years roughly, 40, 45, I'm not certain, I like space but I'm really bad with dates, anyway guys, thank you for watching this video, if you liked it, leave a like down below, leave a comment what you think of how far we have come within those few years basically, within the time of a single human generation, how far can we still get, do we have any ideas ourselves or are we just going to sit back and see anyway thank you for watching 